everyone welcome to CVR English news channel this is Sudhaka Sharma with the big story of the day the ongoing tussle between the ruling Telangana Rashtra Samiti and the Bharatiya Janata Party has assumed a new dimension with strong speculation that the Narendra Modi government is planning to declare Hyderabad a union territory as a check on the TRS and the MIM yeah, yeah. And the speculation has gained momentum after the federal government scrapped Article 370 of the Constitution downgrading Jammu and Kashmir from full-fledged state to a union territory to be ruled directly by the center. As the BJP was riding a wave of nationalistic sentiments over the Kashmir move, its leaders feel that declaring Hyderabad a union territory will also deliver immense political benefits in Telangana. And while well, Hyderabad has a unique political status in southern India with a Muslim image due to its significant minority population, its historical background of the Qutub Shahi and Nizam rule as well as being the citadel of the Muslim political party MIM. In the present context, global city Hyderabad had also emerged as a growth engine driving Telangana economy and giving the state a distinct image. Also, a lot is going to be heard about Hyderabad and its history over the next month with BJP deciding to celebrate Hyderabad Liberation Day on September 17th on a grand scale.
and well it is aggressively targeting the TRS as a party and willing to celebrate the historic day. Federal Home Minister Amit Shah will be the chief guest at the celebrations in Hyderabad and will hoist the national flag to mark the day when the Indian government brought the Nizam rules to an end through the police action in 1948. Also, though Hyderabad was merged into the Indian Union under Congress rule, the BGP gives the credit to the then Federal Home Minister Sardar Olabai Patel. In this context, speculation about the Federal Government thinking of making Hyderabad a Union territory has stirred a harmless nest. And interestingly, while indirectly fanning such speculation, BJP leaders were not willing to make any official comment. However, the ruling TRS and other parties have warned of the repercussions of such a move because they have violently opposed such a move to take place at any cost. Newly appointed Telangana State Planning Commission Chairman and former member of Parliament B. Vinod Kumar said that any such move would spark anger among the masses of Telangana and I quote him, I don't think the BJP will dare to make any such move. So this is going to be something, a kind of a violent move by the government and it is opposed by all the major political parties in Telangana. And if you go back in time, we really find that this type of fact was made, in fact, floated during the moment for a separate Telangana state, but the TRS and other parties had strongly opposed it. Telangana cannot be imagined without Hyderabad and vice versa. So this is the voice and the concern of so many people. Any such move will bring the people of Telangana united out on the streets. So this is going to be the situation scenario at Telangana. And well, the opposition has come from the other party, MIM also. MIM has also expressed a similar sentiments. Party General Secretary Ahmad Pasha Khadri said that there was no such possibility and I quote him, we have always strongly opposed any such move. MIM leader and uh, MIM is the strongest political force in the city representing seven of its assembly seats and the Hyderabad Lok Sabha seat as well as for decades too. That, too. that is very interesting.
And well as regards Congress, Congress too has ruled out any such possibility and according to Uttam Kumar Reddy, the Congress President, it's a hypothetical question, he says, because this type of move cannot be imagined according to him. The move, the idea being propagated by BJP circles is that the direct administration of Hyderabad by the center will help contain a Miami staunch rival of BJP. Party, party leaders have already ramped up the demand to take action against the Miami president Asaduddin Wawaisi and his brother Akbaruddin Wawaisi in this clear context. And all the major political parties are equally opposing this move. Leaders from major political parties said that they are prepared for a showdown with the NGA government by launching a major public hesitation if such a move on the changing the status of Hyderabad were to come through. The BJP state leadership has been claiming that it will celebrate Liberation Day officially and have Home Minister and BJP Chief Amit Shah to hoist the national flag in Hyderabad. And well, the leaders of the Congress and TRS and MIM believe it is not within the realm of possibility that Hyderabad can be made a union territory because they just cannot imagine such a move. They also admit that they cannot rule out the possibility after the BJP enforcing the revocation of Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir and its bifurcation and downgrade from statehood to union territory. Oh boy, it's struggling a lot. He is optimistic and believes that any such attempt by the BJP will only strengthen the ruling Pink Party because the Pink Party is also going through a rough patch here in the state with the BJP really clearly showing up some kind of uh, its presence in the wake of the Dubaka by-election and also in the wake of the GSMC elections. This has become a major idea. And well, the TRS leaders say that the BJP state leadership thinks it will get some political mileage by floating some speculation. So this is also kind of speculation aimed at cornering and embarrassing the ruling party and government led by K. Chandrasekhar Rao. Will someone put, uh... 
And well, the Congress leader said there is no point even considering such a move, but post the abrogation of Article 370, they concede that there is a feeling that BJP might do anything for political gains, which is why such fake news is being circulated and rumors get traction, especially on social media. This is a waste way. And well, the same sentiment is being expressed by the Congress party also. The Telangana PCC chief Uttam Kumar Reddy has clearly said that making Hyderabad a union territory is not possible at all and it is a mere rumor. So he says he can never believe on such hypothetical questions. So it is something which is unbelievable even to many of the major political parties here in Telangana. The MIM General Secretary Ahmad Pasha Khadri said his party did not take cognizance of speculation of BJP making Hyderabad a union territory. And for this idea has been really climbed, this idea has been completely rejected by MIM which has really opposed the idea since the beginning. And well, a senior leader of the MIM said that the party will launch an hesitation if any such attempt is made. He also said that the people of the state will hesitate and without Hyderabad, there was no meaning in getting a separate state of Telangana. And well, the BJP has been targeting the TRS right from the time the new state was formed on the issue of celebrating the Hyderabad Liberation Day, accusing it of not allowing the celebration because of the pressure from its ally, the MIM. So there is a kind of tussle going on between these two parties and now it is left for BJP. And in a recent meeting, BJP leader has really categorically said, Kishan Reddy has categorically said that uh, this type of idea is not with the union government anymore. So all the major political parties in Telangana are really opposing this kind of move because they can never imagine that Hyderabad to be the union territory because Telangana would be really deprived of all its opportunities if Hyderabad is made the union territory.
and Hyderabad is the growth engine of Telangana and without Hyderabad all the commercial and other activities of the Telangana will be really completely washed out and so Telangana government and really all the major political parties which are associated with Telangana are believing that Hyderabad should not be made a union territory at any cost. And well, this brings us to the end of the big story of the day. This is Sudhaka Sharma signing off. Thank you.